This is the cupola. It stick, sticks down below the uh, space station. Uh, it's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet. I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the Earth. I try to come in here and just guess. After being here for a little while, you can sort of figure it out. You can tell different cloud types over different continents. You can tell different soil types over different continents. Oh, right now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell, but we're right over the continent of Africa. Here we are at the throne. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. And this guy right here is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. This is what we call the A-red. And with this, you can lift weights, ooh, based on vacuum in these cylinders, just like you do at home at a gym. One of the cool things you could do, you could do things that you can't do at home. For example, single leg squats with just one leg, because the other leg, you won't fall over. This is the bike. You notice the clip pedals. So all you need to do is actually clip your feet in, and then you can start pedaling. You don't need a seat. You probably see that the bike bounces around a little bit. As I move it, it's not steady and held to the wall firmly. And the reason for that is the space station is pretty big. You saw that there's also solar arrays on the space station. If we start putting any forces into the space station, it's going to make those solar arrays bounce around a little bit. The water is pretty neat up in space. It'll stick to your toothbrush, and it will make a, whoop, a big bubble. And that's just by surface tension. And then you can drink it. The spacesuit is pretty big, as you can see. It's like being a football player. Um, part of the reason it's so big and bulky is because of this backside, this backpack. It's like going on a hike with a backpack, but the backpack and the suit weighs about 300 pounds. Luckily, in space, nothing really weighs anything, so you don't feel that it's so heavy. It has all the oxygen for you. It has all the carbon dioxide removal system for you. It also has a heating and cooling system to make sure to regulate our body temperatures while we're outside. This is our kitchen. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here, drinks, meats, eggs, vegetables, cereals. Some of it is dehydrated, and so we have to hydrate it, fill it up with water. Some of it is all ready-made. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket pretty yummy. And some of the things we have to worry about in space are fire. If we had a fire, if we had a depressurization, like we were hit by a micrometeorite and it made a hole, or if we had some type of toxic atmosphere. If we have any of those problems, we come right here, which we call the central post. It is the main heart uh, of the space station. It has uh, controls to fly in uh, visiting spacecraft if they need uh, some assistance right here. It has Russian computers as well as American computers to help us control anything we need to on the space station. All right, so here we are in the Soyuz. This is what we call the Beto, the living compartment, Bitovoy Atsek in Russian. It has drinking water in it if we need something to drink. And then, of course, it's filled up with a lot of cargo uh, for us. But the main area where we were on launch and where we are going to be on descent is down here. It's a little bit squishy, but everybody asks, how do you sit in the Soyuz? And you sort of sit in your seat like this. The seat is molded to your body. There's hand controllers, which you can fly the vehicle with. And there's a stick right here, primarily used for communications uh, when we're trying to talk to the ground. So three of us fit in here. Like I said, it's a little squishy, but uh, somehow it seems like we all managed to get in here and, and fit pretty well. And it's a pretty safe ride home.